Beautiful evening, beautiful people. Sean Long and Heather here, and we adopted a child. He's green and strong with the force. But yeah, um, we got the Star Wars or the Mandalorian, the child, aka Baby Yoda, animatronic edition from Hasbro. So excited. You can pick up your own at Big Bad Toys Store. Click, click the link for so much more because I have spoken and this is the way to get them. So really excited for it. Yes. <laughs> I'm just telling everybody on my Instagram yeah. what's happening. Oh yes, we're so excited. Um, like we were just actually watching uh, uh, The Mandalorian right before we started the show because season two is coming October 30th. Very excited, I love the show. Um, and Heather uh, is a big fan now too. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, the plush, yeah. So yeah, I've always been a Star Wars fan. Yeah. I just never really got to see the Mandalorian yet. Oh yes, and uh, oh yes. You know, what do you think of it uh, so far? I think it's pretty good. Mhm. Mm yes, uh, I have spoken, or you have spoken. <laughs> I have spoken. Yes, exactly. So um, yeah. Um, this uh, retails for sixty bucks. Uh, BigBadToysStore.com link in the description. Uh, we're really excited to open it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Um, one thing uh, here uh, before we show off the box, if he has a little try me thing, or here you you do the thing. He's so cute. I love baby dolls, especially the animatronic ones. Mm -hmm. Look oh at that. His ears. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, here show off the box real quick. Now, I, I have the other Baby Yoda, the talking one from Hasbro too. They look very similar, except of course this one has moving ears, eyes, hands. This one is just for, you know, talk, which this one is great. In fact, um, hit, like we'll, we'll compare the two in a, more in a bit, but Heather will actually, um, one thing I want to promote before we promote this, you know, if you guys know, you know Heather's Fallen Angel Nursery, she makes amazing uh, dolls and she also makes props and she's repainted um, dolls so um, yeah like we're, uh, I'm probably gonna so I'm gonna intricately repaint this baby mm -hmm. here and like when I mean intricately I mean extremely detailed mm -hmm. just like the show yeah and then he'll be for sale yep on my Etsy store exactly so yeah if you guys want to get um, what used to be uh, my child or our child now um, and this one will be adopted, ready to be adopted to a new home with a better paint job. So yes, um, he's strong with the force, but he'll be strong with more detail um, after See, Heather. Painted by me, uh, I am a master doll artist. Yeah, literally. Exactly. He's so cute though. That face expression. He's like, oh. Oh, I know. So oh, oh yeah, the little feet. feet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, I can't wait to. So, he'll have. Um, Something that I'm going to do for him as well, not to like take off your show. No, no, so no please. Uh, this it. baby will be really awesome. He'll be created by me, a master doll artist, mm -hmm. repainted very intricately. I'm also going to hand apply hair on him, so mm -hmm. he'll have hand applied yak's hair. Yep. And he'll have a magnet installed in his mouth, and I'm actually going to sculpt him mm -hmm. a little frog, little frog legs kind of dangling out. Yep. And then I'll also sculpt him. The little necklace that this one comes with yep, as well. Yep, exactly. Because it'll be so cute. Yeah, this is the the one that's like twenty five bucks, I believe. Yeah, I got this. Um, uh, yeah, Hasbro. This one talks, so you'll get to use the talking feature with better detail and um, actual hair and everything. So this one is sixty bucks. So this one, of course, has moving ears, eyes, head, uh, head and um, and also not only does it talk, but it also sleeps. So um, I'm really excited to open this. So. Yeah, this, it says touch head on the top. You can see pictures of him moving his ears. I will buy the one that she will make. Oh yes, we will let you know when it's on for sale and um, we'll put it on her Etsy store. So you can see his, the box looks like his little, um, his little pod that he sleeps in. He has his Star Wars The Mandalorian, animatronic edition, a beautiful, uh, cute picture of Baby Yoda on the side right there, the toy right there and the actual Baby Yoda there. And oop, on the back here, you can see it comes with the Mandalorian pendant. Um, and also comes, uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, just the pendant, but really cool. And you can, it says here, activate force mode, ooh, and lay down for a nap. 
Oh, that's so cute. It uh, takes three uh, AA batteries, which are included, of course, and 25 sound and movement combinations. So let's uh, free him from his little pod. It doesn't seem like he's... See, Ozzy held, you know... Okay, yes. Yeah, Usually with these, you have to um, yeah. kind of open up the back. Yeah, I think we'll open up the bottom. In place. Yeah, of course. Because these other, yeah. I think it's on the feet, so I'm I'm gonna open it from the bottom. <laughs> well, he's he's gonna use the force to to free himself here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, me too. It is so cute. I know. That's something like when it comes to. I mean, she loves a lot of the action figures, like Hot Toys and other things. But this is the something we both can agree on that we just absolutely love. Yeah, I love baby dolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some collectors, y'all will probably call it a figure, but no, that's a baby doll. Oh, yeah. To me, that's a baby doll, and I want to play with it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I want to paint it. Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to see the best way to open it. It's, it's something that's attached. Like, I, I'm trying to make this nice, or I'm not tearing this apart, but it kind of... I mean, I'm trying to... Oh, I think you can kind of... Yeah, open it that way. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Uh, it's like, oh, the so close to my face. Yeah, that's only bad thing about these displays. And uh, yeah, it looks just like the pot. I love it. But um, yeah. Here, here, here. Okay, I'm trying to see. I think if we open it like this. Okay, I'm doing my best here, you guys. Don't want to hurt him or his packaging. Just for okay. Yeah, let me open this. Feels like I'm doing surgery. That's the only bad thing with a lot of packaging is sometimes you just want to open it up and then it's like, yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Ooh, oh comes gosh. with a bunch of papers. Oh my god, she's so cute. Mm -hmm. it's so, you just rub his little hand. Oh! <laughs> I know, right? He says over. It does over 25 different things. So cute. I know. So, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so on the bottom, yeah, he does have the feet you can put on there. Like that's where you, it's, it's where you put the batteries. It's on the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh wow, look underneath his robe. Yep, it's this, yeah. That's <laughs> so, adorable. So underneath, this is, uh, so you can see, don't worry, it's not, nothing lewd. He has an actual garment, but it's a speaker too. So that's adorable. And he has little feet. So, oh, okay, so this is what I thought. I've seen these before in other action figures or toys. You kind of have to twist this to the left. Or, oh, okay, you just remove them and twist them. Yeah, remove them and twist them. And then you can free him. There you go. Yep. Oh, here you go. I know, right? So cute. And then I'll take out his um, little pendant too. Okay, I'm gonna switch him over to on. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, I, wanna... I know, right? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> he said, Mama, I know. Oh. 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 He's so lifelike. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. I love it. Oh, he's using the force. I love how it makes that sound when he's using the force. Oh, So cute. I wonder if he'll respond to me kits in his head. I'm going to kiss yeah. him. Aww. Oh, he did! <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed. I know. Uh, all you have to do is like... Oh, yes. Yeah, he really responds uh, really good. This is adorable. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play with him a little bit? Because oh. I'm going to hug him. Oh, I know. Oh, well, here, let me show this. the camera goes off, he's mine. This is my doll. <laughs> so he comes, with, uh, <laughs> he comes with his little Mandalorian pin, which he'll, he'll get. Really, actually, not bad. You can also, well, it's too big for my head, but um, you can put it on him. 
Oh, he's like. He's giggling at you because you put it on backwards. I know, right? <laughs> there you go. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'll sculpt one of these. Oh, yeah. For, this one to, for the one I'm going to repaint to come with. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. So cute. It is very lifelike. Aww. Aww. It is. Aww. It's so funny that Star Wars has made it where we won't, where, where grown men want to play with babies again. <laughs> I mean, like baby toys. This is a baby doll for yeah. everyone. Yeah. That is so cool. Whether you're a boy or a girl or a man or a woman. Oh yeah. So activate sound. You just press. Yeah, and then. Activates force move. You do it three times, and then oh okay. Oh, look, look at them! Look at them! The eyes are the so. The ears, though, the crinkling of the ears. Yeah. Oh. I love his little laugh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's so lifelike. So just put him like this to put him to sleep. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Aww, yeah. look at him. He's falling asleep. He's yeah. falling asleep. Do you <laughs> see him? Aww. Aww. Yeah. He's the best asleep. Aww. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. I can't I know. stand it. He really is like a real Like the baby. wrinkles and stuff on his eyes. Mm -hmm. Look at him. I know. Oh, he really is asleep. He is. Mm -hmm. Until you wake him up. Aww. 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 Good morning. <laughs> I know this thing is so cool, you guys. So, yeah, you can see. I know, right? It is so cute. Yeah, look how lifelike what Heather was saying about his his eyelids have wrinkles on them. His eyes are so lifelike. His ears. He has the little peach fuzz head. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's so cute. I love his outfit. Though. It's like nice fuzzy collar and um, little cuffs. And then, yeah. He's like, like, you show me off. And yeah, you can see with the pendant, it's a... Uh, oh, yeah, you actually can... Um, I think you can make this tighter on him, actually. I think that's how you do with these things. Where it comes off and you can put it back on. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you can see on the bottom here, this is his feet. His feet are kind of mismatched together, but it's all good. Actually, I think, doesn't he, um, oh, yeah. You can see it right here. He moves on his own, too. Oh, we could be, oh, so you can, I think you, oh, oh. Yep, he's using the force now. If you tap his head three times, he uses the force. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Yeah. But yeah, when you send him on, on the ground, he like... He like... His head moves, his feet move a little bit. It's so cute. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yeah, so his arms move, his head moves, his ears moves, his eyes move. And yeah, a lot of sounds and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both are, I mean, they haven't really made a bad, uh, like, child Baby Yoda toy, but this has to be the best one for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this, I can see people, like, the, all the kids will love this, adults will, will love this. It's, it's kind of like, if, if you're wanting, like, to adopt a baby, there you go. No, it's, but yeah, it's, it's really... Oh, it's just so cute here. Yeah, this is definitely better than any Baby Alive or Love mm -hmm. Bellas. Oh, yeah. This is, this is it. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. And you can see compared, like, I mean, 
$60 versus $25. This one's not bad at all. I really love this one. I mean, it's... <laughs> but yeah, this one's like, hey, we're talking about me. This one talks. So. <laughs> and this He's one has still beautiful. Feet. He's got yeah. incredible sculpt and stuff. Oh, yeah. But you can see this one has more um, hand-painted. Yep. Like the painted hair. I don't mean to say hand-painted. I'm so used to yeah. saying hand-painted. This one has hand, you know, the painted hair, where this one's pretty much bald with a little bit of painted hair on the ears. Yep. Which is good because it gives me artistic leisure to just really kind of go ahead with that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I know, it's like, we got twins. Oh, I'm looking forward to painting this one. It's oh, going to yeah. be so much fun. Oh, yes. Yeah, this oh. one... I mean, how could you not love this one? This one, I mean, how could you not love Baby Yoda in general, but... This is too cute. Oh, I know, right? too cute. <laughs> you know what would actually be really cool with one of these as a doll artist? You know, we have one that's the child. Mm -hmm. But it would be cool to buy another one, or maybe two of them. Yeah. Because I can actually take this and I can turn it into Gizmo. Yeah. Or I can turn it into a gremlin. Oh, yes. That'd be awesome. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Look at him. I know, right? Look at that. Oh, he looks beautiful on camera. I know, right? They both do. Yeah. Like $25, not so bad, and 60 bucks. This Obviously, this one does a lot more, and it comes with it. But this guy came with a bowl and uh, the little frog, too. Oh, that's cute. I'm actually going to hand sculpt him mm -hmm. a frog that will actually magnetically connect to his mouth. Yeah. To make it look like he's got little frog legs dangling out of his mouth. That will be awesome. Yeah, he'll have some accessories handmade by me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely Heather will turn this little guy, which, like I said, the sculpt is great, but yeah, definitely the paint work could be better on him. Yeah, you I know, will 25 masterfully bucks. repaint that, and he will be worth a lot more mm -hmm. than $25 when yeah. I'm done with him. <laughs> now, Hot Toys and Sideshow are making, Sideshow is making life-size maquette, and, or, uh, yeah, replica, and um, Hot Toys is making a figure that is posable with, with, with different ears you can put out, which is great, but... This one, you know, this will this one is hands down the most fun because, you know, he talks, he moves, he falls asleep, he uses the floor. So um, the Hot Toys and Sideshow one will look the best because a Sideshow one actually uses the same um, sculpt as the the actual puppet. They actually got the the same company who does the puppet for Baby Yoda to actually. So they're pretty much making a replica of that puppet, and then Hot Toys. Um, yeah, both Hot Toys and Sideshow are, are, I think a Hot Toys one is about like three or four hundred dollars. Um, maybe a little, yeah, it's around that price range. Um, it's a life-size one with, you know, extra accessories and ears. Um, so for 60 bucks for something that talks and moves and it just, you can bring for like if you have a Mandalorian cosplay or just, you just want a Baby Yoda to carry around, that is just awesome. It takes the best of those baby alive toys while also being a Star Wars toy, you know? I love it. Mm hmm Yeah. But when I paint him, he's also going to have mm -hmm. skin texturing that I'm going to apply, which makes him look like he's got real pores, mm -hmm. dewy skin, all of it. Oh, yeah. He, he will be, you know, very well done. Oh, yeah. I know this little guy. <laughs> I just love his uh, eyes, like his wrinkles on his eyelids. They're adorable. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. I know, right? Yeah, because he has uh, painted nails too, which this one doesn't have. So that's definitely something like... I'll yeah. realistically paint his nails. I'll add like browns Aww. and yellows. And... <laughs> Aww. Um, Put him asleep. I'm going to sleep. Aww. Is it his eyelids? Yeah. Aww. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty much like... This toy is not only great for Star Wars fans, but anyone that wants to like practice t <laughs> taking care of a baby. Oh, it's like if all babies were green with uh, big ears and stuff. I think everyone would love babies, <laughs> especially when they can use the force. <laughs> it's like, let me hold your hand. <laughs> Aww. 
<laughs> Aww. What's up, little bro? <laughs> I know, right? I think um, with these two, though, they are slightly smaller than the actual puppet. I think the actual puppet would be more like actual baby size. This is like, you know, tiny than the actual baby. What it baby. looks like in the show is that the actual puppet is probably about 20 to 21 inches long. Yeah, exactly. So I figured if this was actual life size to the actual puppet, it'd probably be like closer to $100, which I wouldn't mind paying. But like yeah, for sixty bucks, that's a that's a deal, and I love the little Mandalorian pendant he comes with. Oh yes, so yeah, Heather will definitely be repainting this little guy, this little child, uh, soon. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you do with this. It's gonna be amazing. We'll definitely do some before and after shots. But yeah, yeah, because this guy you can see the nails aren't painted, whereas this guy's nails are painted. So what I'm actually going to do is, mm -hmm. is I'm actually going to contour and highlight his actual skin tones mm -hmm. with browns, purples, yellows, and darker and lighter shades of green. Mm -hmm. And then I'll give him actual skin texturing and pores. Oh, nice. And then he'll get, you know, like the painted hair. Mm -hmm. And then he'll have hand applied hair on top of that. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm going to take a $25 toy and make mm -hmm. him, you know, worth well over 100 bucks. Oh, yeah, for sure. That'll be awesome. Because my doll's actually sell for thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. I'm She's a master right doll artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. This is, this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, yeah. Yeah, this guy, um, one thing that's good about this guy versus this one. This one does a lot more, but he has the separate feed whereas his feet are on this and kind his of... his feet are so cute. I know, right? It's really detailed. Oh, I know. And the sculpt. I can't wait to paint. It's so cute. I mean, this one, I loved this one when it came out. And, um, man, I gotta give it up to Disney uh, for... They waited to release all this Baby Yoda child merchandise because they didn't want to spoil it. No one knew that this character was coming until the day the show premiered. That was, they had to tell Hasbro and Mattel and all these other companies like to hold off on their stuff until after uh, the show premiered. And that's something you don't see. That's a great surprise. Mm -hmm. That's because they gave a crap about the Star Wars fans. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a big shock seeing that. I remember that like the first premiere, like I was like, oh my God, it's like a baby Yoda. And then that's what people call him. Oh yeah, Miguel, exactly. I know, it's so very cute. This one, like I said, you can get this at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, both of these you can get at BigBadToyStore.com. If you, if, you, if you want one that is, um, you don't care about the movement and you just want the talking, this one is uh, $25, but this guy uh, comes with, oh, the, and he, he comes with the, the, the bone broth bowl and the, uh, the frog. This one comes with the Mandalorian pendant and he moves like his eyes open and close his ears move his head moves his arms move and uh, his feet he kind of like lobs himself like how he, he walks him. Over. yeah so 25 bucks you get the sounds you get a few different sounds and he's soft and poseable he has like you know a nice final head um but this one yeah for 60 bucks you get a lot more um you know playability this one is just like you want to like Put him there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he thinks you're, like, putting him to sleep. Aww. Aww. So cute. <laughs> Aww. Look at that face. Aww. Yes. I see the details on his eyelids. Aww. And he's like, what? <laughs> so bright light in my face. Yeah. Yeah, also... Bright light in my face. Aww. Yeah, the outfit looks a little bit better material, too. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, because he, he actually has the little cuffs right here, whereas this one doesn't have the cuffs. But yeah, like I said, this one for 25 bucks, the fact it has sounds is great. But yeah, this one, like, yeah. 60 bucks, you, you, you definitely get a lot more playability. So cute. Mm -hmm. Little ears. Oh my god. Oh. 
yeah, so, yeah, you can put them to sleep. Um, yeah, the force mode and sound and movement combos. <laughs> <laughs> This will help you get ready to be parents and stuff for sure. Not really. You, oh yeah, no, but just make you excited for having like a child. Oh, so cute. He is so cute. If we had a baby that actually looked like that, I would love our baby like no other. <laughs> it's like thank you, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was good getting him today. Yeah. We had a pretty awful day. Yeah. And then it was just kind of made better with the presence of this little thing. I know, right? <laughs> it totally cheered me up. Oh, I know, right? Oh. I mean, we had a. I mean, we had something like terrible happen today, but then I mean, it was an overall okay day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's here to, uh, to love and protect us. It's like we'll love and protect him. Very cute. I know, he probably will sleep with us tonight. <laughs> Aww, look at him. He's just like so cute. I know, it's just like between this and the Deadpool head, if you just have it on, you're just like distracted. It's like you can't do anything else but just look at him. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> I think the Deadpool head is an a hole. Yeah, I know. He is. He's the head of a holes. <laughs> Aw. Deadpool is an a hole. It's like, dude, do you ever shut up? I know. He won't unless you turn him off. <laughs> this one, though, like, I don't mind. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's definitely force sensitive in the head for sure. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, this dude, this is so cute how I he know. just does that. I know, right? Oh. So in the first episode when he was like kept walking up to the Mandalorian and mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. That's so cute, yep. So that's that was like what he was... What, yeah, he's like using the force healing. And the, the, the guy didn't realize that's what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was trying to use the force to heal him. And he's just like, this baby's annoying. Get out of my face. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. I know. Yeah, it's like... It's one of those things where the toy... Um, it does quite a lot... But, you know, with articulation, like, it moves. But it, it's, like, kind of, he moves on his own, too. And I can really pose him. Uh, but that's what's so great about him. He, like... Poses he, himself. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I just love, like, the ears. The ears are nice, rubbery uh, plastic, by the way. They are actually a soft vinyl. Soft vinyl, yeah, there you go. Um... Which is kind of what in the doll world we call silicone vinyl. Even oh, yeah. though silicone and vinyl can't actually mix because silicone can only contour with silicone. Mm -hmm. We call it silicone vinyl because it's silicone-like vinyl. Mm -hmm. And then he's also made out of plastic and his hands are made out of the vinyl. Yep. And then this baby here is completely made out of vinyl. Yep. Definitely. With a, and he's got a cloth body that's actually like... Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, he has a plushy. Well, it's when like underneath. If I underneath. repaint him, I might remake his outfit. Yeah. Because it uh, all depends. Yeah. And if I can actually get it off of him or not. I know, right? Or I might just add to it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I add some, like, the cuffing thing right there. It's so cute. But yeah, like, um, man, um, I guess, like, um, we talked about Baby Yoda. Like, anything you guys want to talk about or. Anything you want to promote, sweetie? I mean, we're we we only been on for a half an hour, so I know it's like how much we can talk about with him. But let's see. Say, I am now your father. <laughs> it's like, child, I am your father. Oh, did, did he you has turn? no response oh. to that. <laughs> there you go. I have the Funko Pop of the child. I liked it all. Child's so cute. I love it. Yeah, season two, 15 days till season two. Aw, so 
so cute. But yeah. Oh, hello, RRG Studios. By the way, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, yeah, Heather made an amazing uh, Armenian uh, or Persian beef stew. Oh, well, Armenian style Persian beef stew. And oh God, it was amazing. So yeah, we had such an amazing dinner. So I want to thank her for being such an amazing cook and mom to our, uh, our child. <laughs> He shares in his stories just about every day what I cook for him. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, I want some. I'm hungry. You have any frogs for me to eat? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, buddy. I only got Turkish and Persian food up in here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's so cute. I know, right? Can you do a video of her painting it? Oh, well... I mean, uh, it's gonna. It takes her, you know, a while, but she could do a live show. She's done live shows with her working on her dolls and stuff. So it's really up to you. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to watch, we can mm. always do it on my channel yeah. or Sean's channel. Oh yeah. I um. Yeah, I can let you use yeah. my phone. I can even, if you want, we can even show them my mm. doll area. Yeah, let's take a little tour of of Heather's doll area. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I love about doing my live shows on here. So welcome to our kitchen, which, by the way, love that. Um, yeah, so this is her doll here. Oh, yeah. Here, we'll oh. This is actually filled with clay and stuff. Oh, remember? I didn't realize it we was We got full fries of... that day. Yeah. And I... All right. Yeah. So we can, like, turn it around, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. here. Um, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, so this is my doll studio area. Yeah, do a little tour. This is a baby that I'm working on right now. I call him Slowem, and he's inspired by when Jesus cured the blind man. And you can see my babies are really detailed. And then oh. we got baby parts. And then we got more baby parts. Oh, yes. So these are my next few babies. This is a custom for a young lady that I'm making. This will be a zombie. This will be a baby satyr. This is going to be a vampire. And then this baby is going to be human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then baby Yoda will, will be up here as well. Yep. But this is my messy, messy art studio. And this is what I do for a living. And yep. thanks for being interested. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is also where I cook my food. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. So she's uh, she works so much in this room just between uh the her... kitchen is my lady cave yep, okay i'm one of those cave. women's that likes to cook and i like <laughs> to work in the kitchen oh yeah <laughs> yeah she literally works in the kitchen and not just for cooking but cooking babies <laughs> making babies but yeah oh yeah rc was saying that's so cool it is yeah that's one thing like it's funny i got to see not her making one but at the when the show that we met um, I got to see her with her babies in their booth, and I was just, like, so amazed. Um, yeah, that's one of those, the coolest thing about, oh, hey, uh, meme channel. That was one of the coolest things about um, meeting her was that she, I got to see what she does for a living, and I was always just so amazed and intrigued, and I could definitely see how talented she was from the get-go, and I just thought it was so cool. So, yeah, I'm really happy that, you know, yeah, she didn't know who, like, what I did for a living till after the fact. But, you know, I was just happy to get to know about her and stuff. I want to know about what she does. Do you make Chucky dolls, too? Um, I have in the past made Chucky dolls. Mm -hmm. I have purchased screen, um, the actual good guy doll parts that were mm -hmm. produced by Garrett Zima from his actual screen used doll props. So I have made good guy dolls in the past. Mm. Yes. Oh yeah. And there was actually um, man, what did they do? They um, Super Samurai. They did the retro, uh, Chucky doll, the retro one. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of Chucky like the life size ones, and then the actual like action figure ones and stuff but like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm more of a realism mm -hmm. doll artist than I am 
for like characters or like just dolls like Annabelle or Chucky. Yeah. So the child is actually something that I would, I'm absolutely excited to paint because mm -hmm. I'm adding lots of realism to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because, um, yeah, whereas Chucky and Annabelle are supposed to be dolls, dolls, these are supposed to be real characters. So that's yeah, what's so real, awesome. Like fake babies. Yeah, exactly. You're looking like Jared Leto from the Morbius trailer. Oh, yeah, thanks. I know, right? Hello from Mexico, compa compadre uh, Kenma Brook. Uh, hello. Or hola. Como estas? <laughs> Sorry, my mom's texting me. Oh, it's all good. Um, yeah. But yeah, like Heather, um, she's been doing this for years. When I first knew her, I thought um, she like had a great name for herself and the town. She's been doing it for like, yeah, you've been doing it for like, what, ten, like 12 years now? Yep. Yeah, 12 years. So, yeah, she's been doing this for 12 years, just like I've been doing YouTube for 12 years. So how funny, right? Yeah, 12. Oh, technically, actually, 13 years is when I've been doing YouTube, but 12 years professionally. 13 years I did. Like, the first year of YouTube was just really crappy camera and <laughs> just, like, filming me at with shows or, like, doing my modeling thing. But then doing the actual toy stuff and skits and everything was like 2008 so yeah it's funny how that was like a year that like really opened up like what we were doing now to this day you know some hair on your face oh i know right that's not supposed to be on your face yeah i know right it's my hair oh yeah yeah be between the both of us like like we're like just a hairy family <laughs> I know. We got three fur babies, so we're just hairy. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. When we see hair on the ground or the couch, it's like, which which of us is, a, it, or the bathroom, oh my God. Like, be, between the five of us, it's just like, man, it's like tons of vacuuming, which I appreciate that she does a lot too. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely a lot of hair between all of us. <laughs> yeah, I vacuum the couch and the floors every day. Yeah. Open the store? She does have a store. Yeah. Like, oh, here, uh, plug your store. <laughs> oh, I have an Etsy store. It's mm -hmm. Newborn FX Studios. Mm -hmm. I also have a website, fallenangelsnursery.com. And, you know, I, I sell through social media and stuff. I go to conventions and display my babies. I go to doll shows all over the world. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. But I just opened my Etsy shop, like, three or four months ago and it's been pretty successful so far yeah because i was just selling on ebay you know doing auctions mm -hmm. but with so many scams yeah and ebay being so willing to let businesses that are scam artists be on there i don't yep. want to give them any money no more so yeah. i just open an etsy shop i haven't sold on ebay for years a lot of like the dolls that i buy mm -hmm. and even figures and stuff chinese or other types of manufacturing companies will actually steal the sculpts and reproduce them, counterfeit. And then eBay just lets those people sell them on there. It's ridiculous. So I'm like, oh, I, know. I ain't selling on eBay no more. Yeah, there's they a lot. They made a lot of money off of me for 12 years. Oh, yeah. A lot of eBay um, auctions are for like third party uh, knockoffs uh, from China, of knockoffs of actual legit Chinese companies. They like, yeah, there, there's a big thing on eBay with that. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you, they were saying you could sell on Amazon, too, if you wanted to. But I know that's a big thing with Amazon. It's commissions and everything. I, I, I would say Etsy for, is the best thing for what she's doing. Yeah, I've been very successful on Etsy. Yeah. M most people I know that do anything that she does, whether it's with art and stuff, always have the best... Um, the, yeah, the best feedback so from Etsy, Etsy. And then my my website, I get a lot of sales mm -hmm. and a lot of, you know, people message me to buy directly from me. Yeah. Or they just straight go to my Etsy shop. Yep. And exactly. That's, what's been, that's what I've been doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Etsy. Um, yeah, and, and going directly through, even if you put things through Facebook Marketplace or Instagram. I sell more things through face, Instagram and Facebook than anything else. I, asked, I just post a picture on Instagram. Hey, you guys have for sale. How much is it? It's this much. I'll buy it. And then PayPal, you know, and then I ship it out. So, yeah, I'm, I've sold way more stuff through people email me through YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram than eBay. I haven't sold on eBay for, I think, like, has to be like eight years. <laughs> it's been a long time, yeah. Because eBay, my eBay story, I used to sell tons of stuff on eBay, but the problem with eBay 
I had to actually use uh, my mom's account for this because what happens with eBay, besides what Heather mentioned, is that eBay sides with the buyer over the seller over the stupidest things like yes. if you if you don't ship it out fast enough even if you give them like even if you communicate every day hey i'm gonna ship out i'm sorry i've just been busy or um and then you give them a tracking number or it's missing one little minor th or if it's not exactly like the way they thought like the condition it's like you said it was excellent condition it's just good condition blah 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 like one star or negative and then you get a negative feedback after two negatives then they won't let you sell anymore and that's what happened to me even though i sold tons of stuff on ebay I, like after only two na that's like ridiculous that's like me. I think that they've changed that policy. Oh, they did? Because now you have to have actual set, like strikes against your account yeah. for like legitimately scamming people. Yeah. But um, eBay is just a nightmare because yeah. they do always side with the buyer. Yep. I have always been very lucky that the people who have bought my dolls have always been really happy. Yeah. But they take so much money in fees. Yeah, like the you're fees are the to worst. List, and mm -hmm. then they take a final value fee yep. that they don't take immediately. They charge you monthly for it. Yep. And sometimes my dolls have gone for as high as five grand. Yep. And that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's like close to $500 in their cut. I know. Where Etsy takes a really small percentage. Yep. And if it's on my website, I get 100% of that. Exactly. You know, because then after eBay takes their cut, PayPal takes their cut. Yeah, I know. So then it's like, I know. Trying to earn a living here, and these people prevent you from doing such. I know. eBay used to not be like that, but then slowly, eBay and PayPal, and I, and we both use PayPal for other things, but yeah, it is just ridiculous. And I understand PayPal. I. It's weird because eBay and PayPal used to be the same company. Then they became two different companies. Uh, PayPal was just a subsidiary of eBay. And then they literally said, oh, by the way, PayPal is its own company now, so they're going to charge you their own fees. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, because eBay and PayPal had too much conflict because of scams happening on both sides. Yep. You know? I know. So I definitely, for people that sell on eBay, kudos to you but yeah both of us just don't use ebay for like i hardly even buy stuff on ebay most stuff i buy um if it's not something new like if it's something you use i usually will uh find it through facebook marketplace or um i know people would sell it yeah it's mostly like with social media you don't really even need ebay anymore you yeah. don't have to do the auctions because that's the thing too you might yeah because that's the thing with ebay right compare like you, you do your dolls but like if you had like a rare action figure right you put it on ebay yeah you can sell it for like you know something that goes for 500 bucks but then there's always the chance that people have a bid war on it yep. right mm -hmm. and then the asshole that freaks out excuse my language oh, it's okay. It's okay. and then the jerk off i mean excuse my language <laughs> it's over so, it's that fine. Both that, fine that wins the bid right yeah ends up being a non-paying bidder yep. you just get crickets do you oh, know how yeah. many times my auctions went up to like several grand mm -hmm. and it was just crickets with the buyer yep so then i had to implement to where it. like if you have less than like a 30 or to 50 feedback score mm -hmm. i'm gonna delete your bid yep because unless you have an established account and even some people with established accounts do that because yep. either they're jealous of your work they're jealous of your action figure mm -hmm. or some people legitimately just just bid on it because they're like fantasizing in their head that they're gonna get it but they really can't it's yeah. just weird that people do that oh i know so yeah i had that happen so many times when yeah, I, me too. Stuff. I was just like i'm done with ebay after yeah. after that and they're them taking their cut mm -hmm. you know and then people being fraudulent on there and the yeah. counterfeit stuff that happens i don't want to fund them anymore yeah exactly like i can't re uh, i hardly buy on ebay anymore it's really if like I go through all my different sites like um and yeah sometimes like well yeah because even with musical equipment this year when i was getting into buying musical equipment i was looking at ebay for a guitar that i ended up finding on craigslist um my, my strap there and i was gonna buy it on ebay because i couldn't find it it was the the the, the color like my my red uh stratocaster with the maple neck i was gonna get that on ebay because i couldn't find oh, hey, finding a guitar center oh, or find it you know in stores but then oh, it sold out Chikara's on ebay like, what you doing dad yeah and then like doing the oh, auctions girl. and everything 
and whoop. And then My so, yeah, <laughs> Chitaru had to say hi. But yeah, I found it just on Craigslist because yeah, with something like that, I prefer the see them person and everything like that. eBay, yeah, because it's hard if you sell rare musical equipment, action figures, collectibles, whatever. It's hard whether you're a buyer or a seller, if you're selling something like you have to deal with people, oh, I, I, I bid $500, oh wait, I don't have the money, then goes to the next lowest bid. And, you yeah. know what happened one time? Mm -hmm. No, more than one time, but mm -hmm. people would bid, bid on my dolls. They mm -hmm. would bring this, the auction all the way up, you know, well over a thousand. Mm -hmm. And they would be, then they would be like, oh, well, my three-year-old placed that bid on your doll. She what? got on, she got onto my PC. And it's like your three-year-old knows how to make bids on eBay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't even know what eBay was when I was. Well, Get out of here with that, you liar! I know. Yeah, cause, reporting your account. Yeah, because some people do that, then they mess it up because then you'll see an auction that goes for that much. It's like, well, I can't afford that, so they won't even think about bidding on it. But if they if it wasn't a high bid, they would have bid on it. But because yeah, so the whole auction thing, I'm not a big fan of at all. Like. You know, yeah, because that's what I'm saying. When eBay started doing all those stupid fees, the monthly fee on top of the actual fee, and PayPal when had fees. The, the fee that they charge you to list the item in the first place, they make millions of dollars. Yep. With just that. I know. The they final value fee, that's just straight up greed. Remember yep. what we're, what we're, that show we were watching with Halsey yeah. and Bernie yep. talking about greed? Yep. That's another freaking thing that yep. I'm just sick of. I know. You know? I like Etsy. Yeah, exactly. They take a tiny little freaking cut. Yeah. That's how, yeah. You got, that's what sucks. Like, I, you should do one or the other. Do you, you charge free listings, then you can get a fee when it sells. Or you charge them, like, a fee to list it. Then they get the, 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 the cut when they, um, when they sell it. I mean, no, not like the, the people that sell it actually get all the money. On That's Etsy, saying. though, because mm -hmm. like eBay charges you anywhere from a dollar to five dollars to yep. list, depending oh, on your specifications. Yep. With Etsy, you get all of those specifications. You get Google ads. Yep. You can get a website. Yep. You can get all sorts of stuff, and it's 20 cents to list. Yep. And then they take like... A tiny little cut, like I mean, like three point five percent. Yeah, that's great. So what great. they actually take is about the equivalent of a freaking listing fee on on yep. eBay. Yeah, exactly. When exactly. when I remember when I sold that baby a couple weeks ago, I yep. sold it for like three hundred. Yeah. They literally only took, I I think like ten dollars out of that. Nice. But that yeah. was it, and that's. Mm -hmm. Way you know, Etsy would have eBay would have took over 30. Yeah, exactly. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. eBay's like, like billion dollar company or whatever. It's like, like literally just charging 50 cents on everything that gets listed on eBay, whether it sells or not. That's all they, sh they could, they would have to do to be like a super profitable business, you know, but nope, they have to take more fees, monthly fees. Yeah. Cause because they realize how much money they would get by taking fees off of people on top of that and it's yeah, corporate greed and I'm, I'm tired of capitalism. Oh, I know. Yeah, it was so stupid because, yeah, those fees, man, yeah, like you Which, have the listing fees. Like, literally, and Etsy stuff. charges fees and takes a cut so that they can have a better website for you so they yeah. can continuously That's update their selling do. platform. Yeah. They have it to where you can put videos on your listings mm -hmm. and stuff now. So I'm willing to freaking pay the fees on that because yeah. that's what their fees are for is to yeah. give you a better seller platform. They're constantly upgrading it. Mm -hmm. I love Etsy. Oh yeah, Etsy's the best. Between Etsy and having a Ooh. website, I don't mm -hmm. even need social media to sell my dolls on because I've I've made a name for myself in the field I'm in. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, so, so this little guy, but yeah, this one, and this is the one we uh, live stream. Will you live stream Spider Man Miles Morales Wing? Sure, yeah, I can do that. Oh, did you turn him off? Yeah. Oh, he's on the try me thing. Yeah, so by the way, I didn't show this. So on the bottom right here, and uh, he has on try me off, you know. So yeah, that's awesome. I love how you uh, did this thing so it like hangs on him better. I think I made it a little bit longer because they're expecting children to buy this toy. Yeah. And they're so like, they oh, let's put it on so the kids can wear it. Mm hmm. And we're like, nope. I know. But <laughs> the thing is, is that it does actually open up and right here, so yeah. we as adults actually can wear it yep. if we wanted to. Oh, I know. 
I could totally see people wearing that. Yeah, because they, they do, um, I've seen, man, before all the merchandise came out, all these came out, people on Etsy were making their own baby Yodas and, like, selling them, like, for so hundreds yeah, of dollars. Yeah, I actually saw a lot of my friends making the Yodas. Remember the ones that we saw at Target? Yeah. A lot of them have been painting those. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I haven't purchased them to repaint is because they don't come with feet. Yeah, yeah, And exactly. I'm very particular with my art. Yeah. So this one having feet and stuff, heck yeah, I'm, I'm painting that. Oh yeah, exactly. And even though my painting on that would be worth quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. I'm probably gonna sell them for around 75. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, let's see, um, yeah. Yeah. I know, that'd be awesome. Deadpool animatronic or Baby Yoda animatronic? Baby Yoda, hands down. Sorry, Deadpool. <laughs> Baby Yoda, hands down. I know, right? I actually, I don't know if it's because, well, I'm a, I'm a Ryan Reynolds fan, but I just don't like Deadpool. Yeah, it's all good. We should have, like, a Baby Yoda Deadpool moment. Do you guys want to see Baby Yoda? it's just because I don't like random acts of violence. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, it, it's very, yeah. It's a veteran <laughs> thing. Oh, I, I understand. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Here, I'm going to get Deadpool head. We'll, we'll just do it for a few moments because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get crazy if we keep it going. So here. It's on. Is it on? Here, on. Yeah, I believe it's on. on. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Here, I'm going to go grab them real quick just for you guys. Show the Iron Man 2 Mark II. Which one? My Hot Toys? But I know, so we're gonna have Deadpool meets Baby Yoda. Hold on. <coughs> Thanks for pushing my buttons. You really know how to turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob, uh, I'm starting to get the picture that this living situation isn't temporary. <laughs> He's welcome to stay as long as he wants. Mm -hmm. Let me be your therapist for a minute. Take a deep breath. Think long. And hard. And then tell me the first oh, I love body this. part that I know, comes right? into your head. Boobs. Vagina. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can see why you're so deeply troubled. <laughs> it's all in your head. <laughs> tell me, what's the most important thing in your life? My dog. <laughs> uh. And what do you think the root of that is? Uh. The fact that he's so cute. I don't know. He's uh. my dog. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> Makes me feel delighted to wake up every day and see my dog. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Well, it seems as though you're a horse trapped in a people body. Uh. Giddy up. <laughs> I already knew that, Deadpool. <laughs> Are you trying to sing to the baby, Deadpool? Are you yep. singing the baby to sleep? <laughs> oh. Oh. Did I ever tell you how I lost my body? Well, let's just say the blob knows what 200 odd pounds of mercenary tastes like. Oh. Ugh. Uh. Uh, my body is CGI. Uh. I gotta feel that the most. Uh. 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 Well, the animatronic is uh. actually really well done. Oh, yeah. This 60 bucks, 100 bucks. <laughs> Hundred bucks for yeah, you, it has the app that you can program it too to do pranks and stuff too. With him? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I would show it off, but it's on my phone. <laughs> guess what's the worst part about being a severed head? <laughs> the fact that you're just a part. Yeah. Being here with you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. You know something? You're an a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> Are we staying in tonight? <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously. Do I, do, I like <laughs> do I look like I'm going anywhere? Do I look like I'm going anywhere, Deadpool? Mm -hmm. 
Him and I get into it. We don't get along very well. <laughs> you think you're so funny. I know, right? You think your sarcasm is so intellectual. You know what? Let's take a walk around the block. I think the embarrassment of you carrying around a toy is worth the cardiovascular benefits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you consider good. yourself a toy then? <laughs> <laughs> what was that Master, about? Master. What? Why? Why is nobody helping me? Cause I'm quick. <laughs> Someone change the future. <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> what? This guy, man. Ah! I swear. Why? Tell you something. No one's helping you because nobody likes you. Yeah. People just put up with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hi, I'm Dr. Deadpool. What seems to be the problem today? Huh. I don't know. You just vomited on my on my carpet. That's the problem. That's unusual. Huh. And how do you think that shapes you as a person? Huh. I think it makes me into a raving bitch. Oh. <laughs> Gonna be throwing up on my carpet. Tell me. In front of a baby. Is there anything missing in your life? There's a lot missing in my life, oh, actually. Yeah. Like a real baby. And what makes you think that that's the case? Because there's no baby. Yeah. I want a baby. You're making good progress, Bob. Huh. I'll when let it... your parole officer know. <laughs> so I'm not Bob, my parole officer is Bob. <laughs> 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 He loves the uh, music. We're just sitting here having a conversation with Deadpool. And... I know. <laughs> he came for Baby Yoda and saved Whatever for Baby Yoda here. and also Deadpool's here. Uh, <laughs> what do you, Baby Yoda, what do you think of Deadpool head? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's boring too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how I lost my body? I, I keep thinking does, that he's going to say, did I ever tell you why I lost my virginity? I know, right? And it's like, that's a story I'm interested in hearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's trying to use the force to fix them. <sighs> All right. You guys had enough of Deadpool? I think we had enough of Deadpool. Good night, Deadpool. <laughs> Some people can't get enough of Deadpool. They've actually seen that movie more than once. Oh. You lick Iceman. Does he taste like a popsicle? Sure. Discuss. Oh my god. I wonder okay. if Iceman does taste like a popsicle, though. Have you ever thought about that? I know, right? He got wiped his head. He has a. Deadpool has a dirty head and a dirty mind. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put Deadpool back. Put him up here for meow. <laughs> nice. Oh, Chewy. How's it going, Put him buddy? Up next to my incense burner. Now he's gonna smell <laughs> like gypsy. Oh, nice. That's gonna be awesome. Oh man. So yeah. Well, any comments, you guys, or before we wrap up the show here? Oop. By the way, oh, he's saying in Spanish. Hi, Ryan. Hot Toys Mark Forty Two. Um, yeah. So, man, we brought up uh, Deadpool head just because of you saying that. But yeah. Uh, anything um want to promote sweetie oh yeah we should talk about this to put it up there i don't know is this is backwards but yeah this is who we support so yeah vote biden and harris because yeah get out there and vote yes um yeah november 3rd you guys my birthday is election day and also me and heather have our ballots we've been actually been meaning to yeah we got to get them out uh this week um well it's tomorrow friday already holy crap uh oh um yeah so please go out there and vote you guys if if you haven't read if you're still able to register to vote register if you're 18 and over please vote like your life depends on it because it does oh yeah thank you meme channel um yeah like um please check out heather's and my instagram because we support a lot of causes especially what's going on in armenia right now you want to tell them okay you don't have to go in full detail if you don't want to but 
just like uh, use the platform to bring the awareness to it? Um, so long story short, because it's a long story. It is a long story. Azerbaijan is a neighboring country of Armenia. And in between Armenia and Azerbaijan is an ancient Armenian country that became separate from Armenia and Azerbaijan in 1994, Artsakh. It is inhabited by 95% Armenians and unprovoked um, Azerbaijans attacked civilians in Artsakh as well as sent airstrikes and missiles in Armenia itself. So in Armenia and my people are currently under attack by terrorists. They're facing imperialism. They're facing terrorism. They're facing ISIS completely alone with no aid. And so <clears throat> we have been trying to raise awareness and raise funds for the Armenia Fund. So if you have $5 to spare, just look up Armenia Fund and it's armeniafund.org. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a really serious situation. It's always important to know what's going on in the world and how it affects us here in America. America has the largest diaspora of Armenians outside of mother country. So it's imperative that America, you know, stops because it's being aided by Turkey mm -hmm. who initiate initially genocided the Armenia people yep. several times throughout history not even just 1915 yep. so my people are facing genocide right now yeah there's less than three million people in my entire race and that's that's not very much you I know. mean there's quadruple that in Azerbaijan and then there's even more than that in Turkey so if we don't help they don't really stand a fighting chance at all exactly so it's really important to to know what's going on to know your history and to know what's happening in the world at all times exactly yeah because that's the thing you guys like even though we love playing with baby Yoda and stuff there's so many uh injustices going on in the world and that's what star wars stands for yep. star wars is about rising up against imperialism mm -hmm. preventing genocide yeah and you know taking yeah. down the you know standing up against the oppressiveness of the government yeah that's trying to take control over everything and everyone exactly and yeah the trump administration has too much interest in turkey mm -hmm. and so that's why i'm voting biden and that's yeah. why i'm voting harris oh yes biden harris you guys um yeah we definitely support them i said we 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 care about democracy uh, we don't want a dictatorship in our country or around the world. We want to, we want people to be able to live and believe in what they believe in. And I don't want, I'm tired of the United States aiding in genocide of yep. people. I personally served during the Iraqi war. Mm -hmm. And I could tell you right now, for a, as a, somebody who witnessed it, this country aids in genocide and yeah. then convinces our people that the wrong people are terrorists when they yep. are just civilians that are being oppressed by these terrorists trying to fight back for their country yeah and um the real truth needs to be out there mm -hmm. and we cannot stand for it exactly yeah there's that's what's so sad about war you guys like good innocent people get killed on both sides and it's so sad because of governments or leaders that just want to rule over and or genocide a whole entire race of people and because of their selfish interests mm -hmm. yeah and yeah and that's what heather put it was right on hit the nail on the head star wars was about that it like i'm a rebel till the day i die and um uh, you you don't want to be part of the empire because you know and then, yeah and then these rebels were labeled as terrorists mm -hmm. a lot of these movies are deep metaphors yep. for what's really going on in the world it's called star wars for the systematic yeah. slavery being imposed on people mm -hmm. And it's something that we all need to be aware of. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone, and that goes back to what our podcast will be about. And we'll definitely talk about that, especially when it comes to Armenia and other wars that have been going on through history. Is that, uh, yeah, like, pop, anyone that says, like, 
oh yeah, I don't want to talk about politics. Like I like Star Wars. Literally, Star Wars is about politics. It is about war, <laughs> and war is political. It literally, the the prequel films were about how a republic turned into an empire, and how. And the, and the thing is, is a lot of these artists and talented writers utilize their voice and and their art creating these scripts mm -hmm. creating these stories yep. to tell the truth about what's really happening in america yeah exactly. what's happening to the real republican party yeah and how we are literally being systematically enslaved yeah exactly and that's why there's a war on democracy yep exactly like captain america the winter soldier was about how you know trying to uh snuff out an enemy before people like the, the enemies come to us that just that, that goes on in our country it's like this is not um yeah this is not uh, freedom this is fear captain america said that you know it's true it's like so many things that we love whether it's marvel star wars parallels real life issues and that's what these filmmakers and writers and actors are trying to say is that they take these parts they you know yeah sure they're more exaggerated or fictional but it is based on true people true events um and they're just trying to let and by entertainment open your eyes to what's going on in the world you know that's what a lot of movies are about mm -hmm. are deep metaphors for the reality of what's really happening exactly because if they made a movie about what was really happening mm -hmm. the government would shut them down and be like you can't make that movie yeah and then they would destroy all their equipment. And if you think that mm -hmm. hasn't happened, guess what? It has. Oh, yeah, exactly. Why do you think movie directors and actors wind up dead all the time? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, so true, you guys. Whether it's politicians or actors or, yeah, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of, you know, we're not like conspiracy therapists, but there's definitely those conspiracies you do hear about how people die because of government involvement yeah yeah it's true mm -hmm. i truly believe in that i do believe yep. that the government kills people that are putting out there a little bit too much what they're comfortable with mm -hmm. and things like that yeah yeah the, the big difference now compared to how it used to be is that now since so many people have platforms so many people can film racism and horrendous things on their phones at the drop of the hat it's so much harder for the government and uh dictatorships to silence people now it's just a lot harder but they've been doing that since like the dawn of time you know like yeah. before cameras I've, so. I've personally witnessed even not just our government but other governments i spent some time in egypt mm -hmm. talking to forensic anthropologists because uh, i'm one of those people that likes to keep myself educated on yeah. history to where i'm willing to travel the world mm -hmm. and get word of mouth and be taught by Egyptians how to read hieroglyphs mm -hmm. and things. And even in Egypt, I've been told horrific stories of forensic anthropologists and archeologists discovering things that their government didn't want them to know about. Mm -hmm. And people have been murdered for discovering things. People have had their research stolen or destroyed because of the things that they've discovered. Yeah. And it's like, that happens everywhere because people, the, the world powers don't want us to know how evolved spiritually we really are. Yeah, exactly. They want to keep us enslaved. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> it's all way, uh, it's the way to control people. They don't want us to know how we human beings were really created. Mm -hmm. They want us to be systematically enslaved. Yeah, so. exactly. And that's the truth. I've personally seen it. it. It's been like that since the dawn of any power, like... Like the the people who are rich and in power want to keep everyone else under control. Like the one percent wants to keep the ninety nine percent under control. It's like that in all around the world, especially in America too. Sure, we don't have a king, but like what did Chris Rock say? It's like we're we're still ruled. We we let dukes and uh, duchesses like dictate what we uh, do. And it's like even though we don't have a king, you know. It's so true. It's just like we're we're just like a step up above from like a um, a, a monarchy or a, a, what's it dictatorship? like dictatorship? Dictatorship, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'd rather have a monarchy than what we have going on now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just one of those things that I'll say this too. Like, even though like we are voting Biden and Harris, um, I, I the whole party system is just flawed, and 
we're, we're voting for them because they they stand with the issues that we care about and they're not making a, 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 a fear-mongering laughing stock of the country even though that's what Trump and the Republicans want you to think. I don't want to be like, oh, but the Republicans say, but it's true. We, I've seen it on Fox News. I've heard we have Republican friends and family members that say these things, and I'm just like, yeah, oh. using people's using religions like my spiritual beliefs, mm -hmm. my indigenous religion mm -hmm. that existed tens of thousands of years before Christianity, mm -hmm. and you know flip-flopping it making people believing that it's satanic yeah. or you know devil worshiping or like you know even satanism actually isn't devil worshiping yeah. i don't know if any of you guys know anything about satanism mm -hmm. but the thing is is these people in power are the ones that are actually doing these weird things that they're trying to flip onto the other party mm -hmm. it's weird i don't know yeah yeah and that's the thing like um yeah, it, we we just spend so much time in our country being like this this civil war of politics. Really, it's just like Republican versus Democrat, yeah, liberal there's versus. so much hate. I know, and it, I hate it so much. Like, even though we are more liberal, we also have conservative views on things. It's like, but I yeah. wish these political parties would just make advertisements about themselves, yep. telling me what the fuck they want to do for my yep. country, mm -hmm. instead of trashing each other. I know. We've become a culture where mm -hmm. that's just perfectly acceptable to just trash yeah. each other. Yeah. And to just be mean to each other and yep. make up stuff about each other. Yeah, both parties or, are... you know, uh, judged, you know, it's easy to get online and type something hateful. Yeah. I know, yeah, It's exactly. ridiculous that people are, are starting to, like, seriously develop that mentality. And mm -hmm. it's part of the systematic slavery because it started with the media. Yep, exactly. You know, everybody thinks that that's how you're supposed to think yep. and talk to each other. Exactly. And it sucks so much because even though we are, you know, affiliated more with the Democratic Party, both parties do it. I, I don't care if you're called Democrat or Republican. I care about, you know, human rights, women's rights. Uh, yeah, I want to know sure. if you're a good human being. Yeah, I, I don't care what you call, like, whatever party. Just, like, I, I want people to have their freedoms. I want people to be able to get, you know, get married to who they want to get, uh, Yeah, you know. I want men to be able to wear a goddamn dress if mm -hmm. they freaking feel like yeah. it on the red carpet without yeah. being bashed by the media. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's it to you? What's with this, why do we have to see that shit? Yeah. If you don't like it, Look the other direction. What's yeah. it freaking to you if a man wants to wear a daggone dress? Exactly. Ain't none of your freaking business. Exactly. And, yeah, that's something... Just saying. Exactly. My brother wears dresses, and I borrow them from him yeah. sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, and that's a, a big thing, you guys. Like, um, you know, like, with, with Trump, for example, like, it's... Keep in mind that he's not a politician. He's a businessman, not even a good businessman, that pretty much prove that how flawed our system is and took advantage of how much people hated Hillary Clinton to pretty much and how people were undecided voters or voted for other parties to yeah, win the election. He's a businessman. That seems to be the reason people freaking vote for him anyways. And it's like, what? We need to have somebody that knows what the freak they're doing as our president, whether they served in the... There needs, yep. to, be board, there needs to be guidelines yep. and laws for our presidents. They should be people that serve the country. Yep. They should be people that are in politics. Yep. They have been prosecutors or yep. governors or senators in the past. Yep. So that they know the Supreme system. Court justices. They know the laws. Mm -hmm. They know what's going on. Yep. Instead of like being a total dumbass in mm -hmm. the White House. Yep. It's like he's the perfect little puppet for Congress. Yep. Yeah. And I, 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 I seen him booing me, you guys. Like, I, I, I've been, sorry, I'm like, oh, it's okay, Prince. Um. I, I've been following politics way more in the last four years than I have probably all my life. And I've always followed politics, but I've watched more, you know, news and, and, and like watch more videos about what's going on in Congress and, you know, the government uh, more than I ever have because I care about these issues. I care about these things and I'm, I feel very scared what's been going on in the last four years. Like, I don't feel, you know... I'm a man that's like has a, like European descent, uh, and I I'm still scared because I have a mom that's an immigrant. 
um, I have family that's multicultural, and I have friends you, of all. You have like this much European descent. I know. You're mostly Filipino and like Syrian. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's one of those things that um, I, I I'm I I feel scared for myself, and I feel scared for more of my friends of color and different. Um, you know, like sexual orientations and yeah, and all I, that I stuff. feel bad. I feel for for my you know my Middle Eastern brothers and yep. sisters, my Iranians, my you know my because like a lot of my family members are Islamic. Mm -hmm. My uh, do I look like a terrorist to you? I know. Because that's what people are afraid of. Are people yeah. that look like me? And. I know people from Punjabi mm -hmm. or people from India are commonly misconstrued as being Middle Eastern mm -hmm. or Islamic, but they're not. They're Hindi. Yeah. I'm Middle Eastern. This is what Middle Eastern people look like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I, you know, and like me with my beard too, I look more Middle Eastern because I am, you know, part Middle Eastern, you know, Syrian, you know, so, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, like one thing I'll say you guys too is that, you know, the, the the thing is like i want you guys just to pay attention to what's going on like going to what we've been talking about with, with the podcast we're still going to do by the way sorry we've been busy on that a lot of personal stuff um yeah like i i just want you guys to know that especially if you're 18 or older don't just be distracted and that's the thing too don't let you know things like toys or uh movies and cartoons or whatever take away or like you know or reality shows whatever take away what's going on in the world because all the all the stuff we're talking about does affect all you guys whether you know it or not like if you don't go out there and vote for your your council people your congress people your your president um and you just let it and if you are 16 17 mm -hmm. years old yeah and you want to be more involved in politics you want to you know volunteer at the polls do it if you're contemplating if you're considering joining the military yeah do it yeah exactly we need to be better about actually making a difference and serving this country instead of complaining about yep. it exactly and expecting the country to fix everything we as the people mm -hmm. the citizens of this country should be doing more and putting more of an effort to have a better quality life exactly yeah and like like me and heather we're spending every day you know, bringing awareness to causes that we care about, uh, sharing, you know, vital information, um, telling people to vote, going and voting, uh, being protesting, activism, you know, just like donating to charities and causes that we support, all the, like spending, volunteering your time, all those things make such a difference. I feel like you can't complain about all the crap that's going on in your country or the world if you're not going to do something about it. You know, I think that I, if it was up to me, you have no right to complain if you don't do anything. Like being apolitical is probably the worst thing you could be right now. Exactly. If, like apathy is what gives rises of, you know, things like Nazi Germany. Because if you don't stand up to these uh, corrupt leaders uh, in some way, whether it's voting them out or protesting, then you're going to give them too much power where they're just going to bring the genocide of a whole entire religion or race of people, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I don't want to scare at anyone, the, at but... At the rate yeah. that we're going, though, mm -hmm. with how fearful, you know, uh, we were watching, at the freaking Republican convention, yeah. they interviewed somebody that they were asking them what they're afraid of or who was like, who do you need guns to protect yourself from? Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, this woman was like, Muslims. Yeah. And it's like... I know. Yeah, and don't forget we're gonna get our first Muslim superhero show of Miss Marvel, you know, uh, Kamal Khan. So yeah, please, guys, don't. Muslims aren't bad people. There's bad people of every nationality. You know, I and, have ancestors that were Muslim. Mm -hmm. I have ancestors that were pagan. I have ancestors, mm -hmm. you know, every ethnic group that I'm from are indigenous people yeah. of you know West and East and Middle East Asia. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I like to honor my ancestors. Mm -hmm. I take pride in my Islamic heritage. You know, I have the Quran. I listen to it. I read it. I've mm -hmm. studied it. Just like, you know, I'm Armenian, mm -hmm. which is the first Christian nation. Yep. And their Bible is 
in my opinion, the real Christian Bible. Mm -hmm. And that's really important to me. I honored that heritage. I honor my ancestors because I know I'm tethered to them. Oh, thanks, and, Prince. And, you know, I want to, to appease them because they're going to guide me in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. And so, and they guide me through this life. And it's it hurts me when people are so fearful mm -hmm. and fear-mongering of Muslims because it's like I can channel my ancestors and mm -hmm. their pain. And oh, yeah. it's just, it's not right. Any type of religious extremist is an extremist that, like, needs to be, like, whoa. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And Tia Fan, uh, like, has been saying what I've been saying. Why are people grouped into certain um, groups, you know, like, it's like, just like Republicans and Democrats, there's so many people, uh, pretty much everyone is, like, conservative in some things, liberal in others. No one fully is, like, conservative. No one is fully uh, liberal. Yeah, it's just that, I consider myself a liberated conservative. Yeah. Because there's things that I wouldn't do with my body. Yeah. You know, because I would give anything to have a, a baby right now. I yeah. would give anything to be pregnant. Yeah. I have suffered miscarriages. Yeah. Even very recently. Mm -hmm. And it's actually something I'm still psychologically dealing with. Yeah. But who am I to tell a, another woman what she can do with her body. That's none of my damn business. Exactly. What I care about is my body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, you, you don't, if you're against abortion, great, but don't. It should like, be for yourself and your family. You yeah. don't get to dictate what other people do. And it goes back to this country yep. trying to lean into being a dictatorship. Yeah, exactly. Those are, those are freedoms. Trying that to are, use their Christian, I call them fake Christian yep. beliefs. Exactly. About abortion when it's like um abortion started in the catholic church do your research oh i know and being raised catholic i totally agree and it's um if you guys are catholic out there uh we don't hate you or anything but i was raised catholic for so many years went to catholic school and i have many problems with the catholic church i think most a lot of people have problems with the catholic church what they with the priests and all those things do especially to young boys it's horrible what they've done, so many wars, um, and like the Vatican and everything. Oh my God. Don't want to get in a whole thing about it, but do your research about it. Just know that, just open yeah, your eyes. I see that a lot of you guys are requesting to follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. It usually is a public account because it's my artist page, mm -hmm. but personal reasons I've had to put it, mm -hmm. um, as just a private account for mm -hmm. now. There's a post about it, so yeah. if you go down my feed, a couple, a few photographs. Yeah, it explains why. Yeah, it's really, yeah, like I, I've seen so many people, including Heather, deal with racism and stalkers and other things, and we need to do better, you guys. We gotta call out people on that behavior. If you know people, whether they're your friends or family members that do that to other people, like report them, like. Uh, talk to them. We have to have uncomfortable conversations with our friends yeah, and family like members. My actual community center, my mm -hmm. Armenian community center, and my Armenian church were vandalized and burnt down just recently. Yeah, it's horrible. You know, um, I've had anti Armenians spray paint things like mm -hmm. Kardashian whore on my car. Mm -hmm. I've had my life threatened. It happens in the United States, not just in Armenia. Mm -hmm. There, in California, there's a huge population mm -hmm. of Azeris and Turkish people. While most of them are really great and I, mm -hmm. we get along, there are those ones that listen to the things that their government has told them mm -hmm. and hate Armenian people. It's so sad. And I've been subjectified to that. I've also been, some, you know, great people that were white have been really weirded out by my culture and stuff mm -hmm. you know because i i dress very indigenously mm -hmm. except for today because i don't feel very well today mm -hmm. so i look yeah it looks she i'm wearing looks beautiful. men's clothing at the moment <laughs> oh, she looks gorgeous <laughs> like she she wears dresses a lot but today she's wearing her her flannels which i love too it's like she can wear her beautiful gorgeous uh, dresses her Ar armenian or egyptian outfits and she then she wear this and i just think she's the most gorgeous woman on the planet so oh you're oh. so sweet oh i love you <laughs> but um oh and answer your question real quick because before we finish our 
political points, our favorite YouTubers. So I was just uh, because he a uh, meme channel. Oh, has been asked my now. favorite YouTuber, uh -huh. Sean X Long. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I love uh, black nerd comedy. Yep, I was gonna say. I yeah. absolutely love Andre. Uh -huh. And the thing is, is I've been watching his channel for years, uh -huh. even before I met you. And then uh -huh. I got to meet him at your house, and yeah. I just oh, fangirled yes. hard. Do you remember oh, that? I, know. I was like, oh. That was amazing. Black nerds in your house. It's like, yeah. Sean, you didn't tell oh, me yeah. you know black nerd. I oh, would have yes. wore something nicer. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I know. I'm so glad. And hopefully when we're able to travel again to a con, like, you'll definitely see Andre again. Cause, uh, yeah. He has a great presence. My instinct was to just hug him. And oh, he's yeah. got that laugh. Yes. <laughs> his laugh. I just love it. I love Andre. And his birthday's coming up. Andre and me are Scorpio, so both of our birthdays are coming up. His is in... Um, yeah, late October, and, and mine's early November. Um, oh, and also, you know, also their favorite YouTuber is Shardimus Prime, of course. Uh, John Bailey, uh, epic voice guy who's voice up on his trailers. Philip DeFranco. Yes, we love Philip DeFranco. I oh. love him. He, he, you know, delivers news and talks about current events mm -hmm. as well as what's going on on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he even brought to light, brought the attention to what's happening in Armenia yep. and stuff. Mad respect for that guy. Mm -hmm. I want his hoodies really bad. Oh, yes. Yeah, we love, um, uh, man, there's so many things we love on YouTube. We watch, like, you know, I love Nostalgia Critic and Angry Video Game Nerd, but I also love... Uh, hot Ones. Hot Ones, yeah, Sean Evans and First We Feast on Hot, hot Ones. Like, Kill Count. Yeah, uh, Kill Count with, uh, yeah, James A. Janice and De Dead Meat. I also love the horror show, 666. Yeah. They are an awesome show. Mm -hmm. And then one of my favorite YouTubers, and also they're really good friends of mine, is the Horror Web. Oh, yeah. They are great. So Scara is part of the show. And she does the tub of terror mm -hmm. where in her bathtub, this beautiful, her end character, because mm -hmm. she's got this witchy character, you know, Scara. Oh, yes. She hangs out in her bathtub and, mm -hmm. and reviews horror movies and things. And it's just really entertaining to watch their show. Oh, yeah. They are very original with their content. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love them. Oh, yeah. Man, there's so many people we can name, like uh, yeah. old school people. Like, I love Smosh and... Uh, 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 Jenna Marbles, uh, even though she's been taking a break because of some controversy of her old videos, which she totally apologized for, and she made it just as jokes. She wasn't, anyway. But um, I also love, um, man, uh, Mikey and Anthony Fidelia, uh, who you know, Anthony was from Smosh, and then now they're like awesome couple. Mikey with her makeup and horror stuff, and then Anthony doing his interviews with like you know conjoined twins. I or... also love Bailey Sarian. Yes, she's married to an Armenian. Mm -hmm. That's why her last name is Sarian, mm -hmm. and she does her makeup and talks about crimes throughout mm -hmm. history. She's adorable to watch. Mm -hmm. She's very entertaining. Oh man. Um, yeah, there's other people, like, I love... Tenny uh, Panasian. Mm -hmm. She's an Armenian makeup artist. Oh, yeah. And beauty guru. I love her. Yeah, and, like, um... Yeah, like, yeah, because, like, with, with people know, like, a lot of stuff that I mentioned, but, like, yeah, like, you mentioned, like, anyone you think that no one would know about, too. You know, give them shout-outs and stuff, but, yeah. Especially, uh... Man, and, of course, we love watching Trevor Noah, The Daily Show. Oh, I love day. Trevor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Jimmy Kimmel and uh, Jimmy Fallon, the Jimmys, and um, yeah, I love. Um, oh, oh, one thing, Finn McKinley, uh, McKinley uh, from uh, who does like the punk rock NBA guy. Give him, I love him so much. Uh, he did a video about a uh, 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 thank you, um, uh, core kids, adulting, and yeah, he's amazing. We just watched his video about you know things you learned. Uh, you wish you knew in your 20s and stuff like that, yeah. I'm considering starting a new channel. Yeah. That's a cooking channel. Yes. Because, like, I was raised very gypsy. Oh, man, her cooking. That, oh. Gypsy is uh, just a smash mm. of different cultures, mm -hmm. like Armenian, North Indian, mm -hmm. Moroccan, African. Because, mm -hmm. like, all of that's in my DNA. I'm yeah. part Egyptian. I'm yeah. part... I'm, there's... I have ancestry from Sudan. Mm -hmm. I'm mostly Armenian, but I also have Native American. Mm -hmm. And all of those cultures I was brought up with. Yeah. So it's all in my cooking. Oh, yeah. It's very Persian. Oh, yeah. Very African. Oh, yeah. Very, you know, West Asian and Middle Eastern. Oh, yeah. And so I was thinking of 
doing a cooking channel. That'd be amazing. Says, I don't know if you guys see his stories on Instagram, mm -hmm. but he's always taking pictures of what I cook for him. Oh, yes. And he takes such beautiful pictures of my food. Oh, yeah. And, like, being part of, like, a Middle Eastern culture, you know, that's very Persian. What makes me really happy is watching people enjoy my food. Oh, yes. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Oh, yeah. You know, like, the best gift a person can give me was, like, he brought me home a crock pot uh -huh. the other day. Oh, yes. And I about died because uh -huh. I was like, ah! Because uh -huh. like, that's, like, what I love. Oh, yeah. I love to cook for people. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really considering making a cooking channel. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to see that, please uh, me message Heather and tell, give her support and, you know, and, um, Fallen Angel Nursery. But also, yeah, in the comments below, please. Um, yeah, we'll definitely make it happen and stuff. Yeah, especially because... Man, it's a lot easier too with our phones to film all these things and in the HD and yeah, she's yeah, gonna and be getting. There's new. not enough homemakers in this world anymore, whether mm -hmm. you're a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. Man, if you're craving some Persian food, I got you. Oh yes, I know that'd be <laughs> amazing. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, yeah, we'll definitely make that happen too. And we're still gonna do our podcast show because that's why I love doing these weekly shows. We start out with toys, but and then we like aha hooked you in for some political talk. <laughs> no, but um, we're now we're trying to do that, but kind of we are, but you know, because we want to just open your guys' eyes. Like it's great to talk about YouTube. It's great to talk about Star Wars and toys, but yeah, we want people to just be open minded and keep your. It, it's like food. You don't want just one type of food. You want a whole bunch of spices and and ingredients in your food and that's what we want to do with our show it shouldn't be just like focus on one thing or one type of thing it should be like you know all make sure the things that parallel each other just like yeah i like persian food and armenian food and all these different cultures like how mexican food has been so influenced by asian and other cultures you know rice was never in mexican food until like when like last like 50 years or so it's like 100 years i don't know it's like you know people always think when rice is in mexican food no that me true mexican food didn't have rice until like you know like just recently you know <laughs> so yeah i learned that too i was like what i thought rice is the big thing it's like nope not in mexican food so yeah yeah that, so that's what i'm saying like other cultures the best kind of food is influenced by other cultures to make the best kind of yeah, food yeah and Armenia was very mm -hmm. influenced by other cultures as mm -hmm. well as directly influenced cultures mm -hmm. like Greek, which mm -hmm. influenced Italy, mm -hmm. you know, and so <laughs> I, know. I I just really love to make food. Yes, yes, and I to love me, to eat our food. <laughs> that's the way to get to celebrate my culture. Mm -hmm. It's the way to, you know, think about my ancestors because, I don't know, I just, I love sharing my heritage. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, man, I love these uh, shows that I do with Heather. And one thing I noticed since we started doing them out here, yeah, because when, yeah, I think we've always been starting doing them out here because we didn't do them, uh, yeah. So one thing you guys notice the live shows since she's been part of them versus when I used to do them in my, my toy room. Sure, I don't have, like, all these toys in the background, but uh, using my phone, the, the quality is better. It, it the show's way more fun with you um of course we're, we're getting a lot more information and yeah when i rewatch the shows like my old live shows back in that room on my computer versus these ones like the quality both in the terms of the show and the actual video quality i think is so much better and yeah it's all shot on my iphone you guys and yeah so it, it's just amazing like how things have changed for the better you know and now we got this uh, i i had my old um beach portrait thing and now it's uh, heather hung that up the other day which i really appreciate it and so it just feels so nice at homey like we have a cool like yeah, i've just been straight up being a homemaker mm -hmm. been you know making the house more homey oh yeah i love and, it like you walk in here every day and it's just it smells mm -hmm. like a persian girl lives uh, here oh yes and i love <laughs> and i love that smell it's a great smell it smells like incense and mm -hmm. candles and oh yeah and just straight up middle eastern food Hell at yeah. all times now oh yeah i love it i know <laughs> so much good food you guys i know it's like you know it's funny like um i started getting back into cooking this year too yes my real name is sean long <laughs> it's funny because um uh, before i get into my thing um a lot of people think my name is made up, which I think it's like, it is kind of dynamic, so I can see what you're talking about. But no, I was born, Sean Long, I can show you here. 
I'll do this without showing, just so you know, I'm not faking it and stuff. I, I won't show my address. Plus, it's my old address, so it won't matter. Yeah, it's my old address, so just so you guys can see my driver's license. Yep, see, Sean Michael Long. And look, look at how I used to look, you guys. <laughs> Whoa. I know, right? That's, when we, that's how you looked when we first met. Yep, yeah, exactly. The short hair and clean shaven. But yeah, Heather, I love your vampire doll, so I'm getting one soon. Oh, nice. Yes, please. Yeah, definitely, like, you know, support Heather if you want one of her dolls and orders and stuff. She puts a lot of love in and yeah, care. Yeah, it in takes them. me anywhere from, you know, 80 to 100 hours to complete a baby. <laughs> oh, my God. They were saying cook edible toy figures. <laughs> like, is there a way? Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Um, I, know, awesome. I can sculpt things with modeling chocolate. Oh, that'd be amazing. Did I ever tell you that my biological mom is a cake artist? What? I didn't know that. Yeah. Holy crap. It runs in my family. Oh, that's and awesome. I say biological mom because I wasn't raised by my biological yeah, family. Yeah, that's a whole other story. But I was but... still raised by people that were of my heritage and mm -hmm. very, very much cultured me. Nice. And I'm so grateful that they've been a part of my life. Yeah, but that's awesome. At least, like, that you can do that. You know, that, I mean, she can do so many amazing things. She's, like, you know, took quantum physics in college and everything. It's, like, she can, like... Yeah, she could figure out like interdimensional travel if she wanted to. I mean, I, that's like how amazing she is. Oh, you know? you're so sweet. Oh, <laughs> love you. And, um, but yeah, what was this? Oh, yeah. So before Heather moved in, uh, with the pandemic, I was getting back into cooking. My grandma, who just passed away in June, um, was a big cook. And, and, and this is gonna parallel into what I'm getting to in a moment, but, um, I really wanted, uh, to, be a cook or at least have cooking in my place again because I was going out to eat a lot back when I had roommates because they messed up my dishes like my pots and pans and I love cooking and I love being with someone that loves to cook and today uh my dad who lives uh, close by me um who has all my grandma's cookware uh brought over a bunch of cookware because Heather cooked for me and my dad um and it was so nice and I uh, partially was getting emotional seeing all these um, dishware that I know vividly because my grandma has used them so much because she's cooked for me and my family for so many decades. Um, so now like he gave them to us and it's just really nice that the woman I love that I'm going to have a family with um, is going to keep that in the family. So it, it, I got a little emotional. You know? And um yeah, like me coming out in the morning and you being like, oh, I am think I'm going to make myself some a bowl of cereal or, <laughs> or a frozen waffle. I'm yeah. like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to make you a Persian breakfast oh, or it was an amazing. Armenian breakfast. Oh, yeah. It's so good. I know I, I'm very lucky, you guys, that this woman works so hard uh, on her dolls and she's, you know, she, you know, cooks and cleans and like, I'm not even telling her to do any of that. She just wants to. It's like amazing, you know, like. Like one shouldn't have to be asked to clean their own house. Though. I know. Oh, I know. It, you it's, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's really one of those things that, you know, she's working and I'm working too. We, we both are hardworking people. Um, we, we have three pets that are like our children until we have, uh, you know, children that aren't green with big ears. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, we take care of them. We feed them. We make sure they get exercise. We make sure we constantly have to clean up after them. Like the other day, I, I um, one of them spit up on the couch and clean it like right before you woke up in the morning i think it was luna yeah she oh and like i remember stopping luna from like and that's just a normal cat thing anyone that has cats like knows this they just eat something and then sometimes they just cough it's, up it's terrible. usually because they're constantly grooming themselves and they yep. have hair at the back of yeah, their throat exactly exactly they can't digest their food so they hack it up yep exactly exactly it's a big thing it's kind of like a vacuum that you have to clean out and the vacuum Chewy's just always drooling and getting mm -hmm. hair and mm -hmm. stuff all over the place oh i know he's my baby boy though i love him so much we love him so much that's my baby He's such a cutie. He's such a mama's boy. Oh, so yeah. So when I cook, which is every day, mm -hmm. I like to prepare things for Chewy as well. I'll make him from scratch meatballs. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm trimming the fat off steak, I'll give it to him. Yep, he I had made some him steak some per yeah, I made him some eggs the way that, you know, in the Middle East they make dog for their dogs. Because in the Middle East, dogs are, are herders of sheep. 
and goats and things. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he's spoiled by mama's. Oh, yeah. This is mommy's boy. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeremy. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Yeah, um, Sean's great. I make him bacon. Oh, yes. My oh, boy man. He gets yes. bacon. My oh, baby. Yeah. He loves the bacon. <laughs> but, yeah, like, um, yeah, you guys, like, I, um, man, like, just go in the last few things before we wrap it, while well, we wrap it up here. Um, yeah, like, this next few weeks is going to be really important. Um, like going back into some politics just if your early voting has started like in california here we're going to send out our ballots here in the next day or so um we've just been busy with stuff but we have them we just want to make sure we do everything right because just like if you did on election day you have to really take your time to read everything if you don't do your research then you just have to kind of like read in all oh, the stuff I'm getting tired. oh i know yeah we're wrapping up here so um it, it's if you haven't mailed in your ballots or you're not um definitely mailing in ballots is the best thing to do make sure to get them out as soon as possible make sure to do to the official mail ballots not those gop fake ones that they're using to suppress view or votership uh but yeah or if you can't do the mail-in thing or you don't want to because you want to be in person which is very admirable especially in pandemic just know it's going to take a long time. If you have early voting, just know you're going to be in line for a long time. But even if you have to wait in line, even if it take time off of work, or you just don't... I it mean, really stinks that there's a pandemic because you know what I would be doing in mm -hmm. those long lines? I'd be feeding people. I know. I would show up with mad food and grills and I'd mm -hmm. just be kebabbing. Oh yeah, and that'd be amazing. Calavatos mm -hmm. for everyone. I would just be like nonstop making food for people oh, yeah. in lines. Exactly. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I, I really know. wish I could do that. I know. Freaking waiting 11, 12 hours. I know. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. She's like Sean too. Oh no, she she's a way better version of like uh, I could ever be and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. wish it could be more like her. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. No, I, you know it's funny. Like, yeah, especially because man, yeah, she had her birthday in September, and I uh, my birthday's coming up too, which is on election day. That's what my birthday presents all you guys to vote right now. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm going to be 37, you guys. It's so crazy to think about that. But, yeah, like, yeah, I hope I look, you know, like, I want to look as good as her, like, the older I get, you know. So, <laughs> like, having a hot uh, Armenian, like, you know, scientist that she is, you know. <laughs> like, she, well, I mean, she could do everything, like, whether it's quantum physics or, you know, like a medic. And, you know, she has so many skills. She could be, like, a like attorney or she could be, there's so many things that she can do and things she wants to do and I support her in anything because she's going to change the world in one way, shape, or form. You're sweet. Aww. And like I said, or whether it's through her, her edge, like her wisdom or her food, she'll make the world a better place. But yeah, I definitely will take good care of her and she takes good care of me. Um, but yeah, like we're going to wrap it up, you guys, because it is, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Probably is like it, quarter after 10. Let's say on your phone. Oh, okay, 11 oh, o'clock, so yeah. yeah. I know, I'm we... Ready for bed. I gotta go pee pee. Oh, I know. So, yeah, you guys, um, here, Heather, tell them where they can find you at. Uh, Fallen Angels Nursery on Instagram, The Immortal Child on mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. FallenAngelsNursery.com is my mm -hmm. website. On Etsy, I'm Newborn FX Studios. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, make sure you guys vote. Um, if you, if you can send in your ballots or you have registered make sure to register please don't let apathy uh ru like ruin everything for all of us because yeah like apathy like as they say the only evil is ignorance the only good is knowledge so the way that you know if you don't do your part which everyone just the minimum of being american is voting <laughs> if you know at least do that if you that, can vote for american idol you can vote for the president of yeah, the United exactly. States. Yeah, exactly. Yes, because the apathetic people, apolitical people, are is what, you know, the the evil uh, people in power want. They want you just to be ignorant to what's going on and just let them shape the country into whatever shape or form, whether it's oppression or, you know, like being uh genocide or anything like that so please you guys do your part vote november 3rd that's my birthday um if, if it, or vote early um 
make sure uh, if you're following me and Heather on Instagram or Twitter, Instagram and Twitter are very oh, much where I share a so lot of my cute. political stuff. Uh, and so please, um, you know, if you want to know about what's going on in Armenia right now or um, registering the vote or uh, many things, Black Lives Matter or um, all these things, please, uh, you know, Fallen Angels Nursery and uh, Sean X Long on my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Um, yeah, and uh, going into the toy thing real quick so it's not just all politics. Thank you to BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, link in the description if you want to get your own uh, Baby Yoda, which is just so awesome. Yeah. So cute. Uh, yeah. My Twitter is Sean X Long. It, it, a link is in the description if you wanted that. So yeah. Um, yeah. So thanks Big Bad Toy Store. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, make sure to vote. And Sean and Heather saying live long and love life, you guys. And you guys have a wonderful night.